Hey, it's Jay. So what's on my mind right now? Hmm. What's on my mind? What's on my mind? What's on my mind? Art's on my mind at the moment. Why is art on your mind, Jay? So the past month I was put into a class called painting with one of my teachers at school named Mr. Ford. And going into that class, I had no knowledge whatsoever of how to paint. But keep in mind, before the class, I was in a class called Ceramics. And with that, I passed that class making things like this. So I made this in Ceramics. I kind of made like a pencil holder. At first, I really didn't even know what I was making. I still don't know what it is. But I made it. And I thought, hey, let's put some pencils in it. Here's the top floor, what it looks like. Yeah. Interesting, right? Yeah. Whenever I come up with an idea, I don't usually see the whole vision of the idea. I just kind of go with what I see and build onto that and add randomness. And it usually comes out with something if I like it. Yeah. But Jay, you were talking about painting. So, back to painting. So, I've never even touched a freaking brush. So, I'm not very experienced at painting whatsoever. We did three projects in class beforehand. More like small, like, you know, practices, projects. They're like this big. My first project was uh, doing still life with black and white color gradient. So, it went from black. Lighter black, lighter black, lighter black, gray, lighter gray, lighter gray, lighter gray, white. Oh, like dark, dark white, dark white, no, dark white, lighter white, lighter white, lighter white, bright white. So you can kind of get an image right there. And we kind of have to apply those colors to still life image. So anything in front of us, I don't really know what still life is, but I still did it. So yeah, that came out pretty crappy. <laughs> Didn't like it. And the second one was monochromatic, which is where I do believe you use black and white and one color. So you can use every shade you can possibly make with those colors. And you make something. So I made something really crazy. Pretty interesting. Eh. I used yellow, black, and white, and then kind of used all those colors. You know, I made some like dark yellows and light yellows and dark, dark black and grays and white. All those crazy combinations. Anyway, that turned out pretty decent, you know, I was like, wow, this is my first painting app, or my first, like, you know, actual painting project. And then from there, I drew, I kind of just, like, made a random, like, eye thing. I don't know how to describe it. I'll show you some pictures. You're bringing the bar up Life's not plastic forks and paper cups A monster can make So our teacher gives us a canvas that's about, uh, let's see, this big. I don't know if you can see him. Pretty big. Yeah. Pretty big. And he says, alright, we want you to do Lichtenstein styled self-portraits. First off, what's Lith Lithenstein? I have no freaking idea at that, that time. Lithenstein's pretty much like thick, thick, thick pop art, like, you know. Pretty much it's thick black lines and lots of pixelized uh, circular dots. There's many different versions and forms of Lithenstein that has evolved over time, but he wants us to do the original, okay, you make all the colors one solid color, and maybe add a secondary, you know, color behind it for sh shadowing, and then you pixelize it, and you kind of do it, you know, thick black lines, and you keep with that one color rather than shading it, or maybe two colors just in case, you know, to give it that interesting effect. Me being me, you know, I went with the project, you know, you tried, you know, I got a picture of myself, and I tried pretty much painting it. It was like paint, paint, paint. It did pretty good. I was kind of proud at first. I was like, yeah, this is good. This is good. And then, you know, did my skin tone. Got it pretty pale and everything. Then I did the pixelation on my face. 
all these dots and whatnot. The airbrush. <laughs> Actually, it's more like. <laughs> I'm like holding it in a weird way. The teacher made me. And yeah, I didn't like the look of it. So at the end, you're supposed to kind of put your black lines on it. So I put my black lines on it and thickened everything up. And then I was like, I am not happy with this painting. I do not like the style or the look or anything. So what I did was, I took white paint and I highlighted it with my weird style. It's like a line style. I kind of developed over time using pins. It's kind of like how I draw. It's odd. I like, I don't know, shading with lines, if that makes sense. Except there's like no shading. It's more like one solid color with like a repetitious like pattern. But anyway, I'll show you later. So I did that and then I added, you know, white eyebrows, white eyes, um, an odd color to it, kind of like unnatural colors rather than skin tone and all that weird stuff, with unnatural pixelation, which I did add pixelation, then I spray painted over it, like the mist of like a different color, and all that good stuff. Yeah, I'm sure you want to see the painting now. Right, 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 right. I'm actually pretty proud about it. Rather than just, you know, doing it and listening to the instructions, I kind of went a step further and did what I wanted to do. And he's like, yay! Now I'll make another one that's towards my criteria. So I'm doing that now. But anyway, I'll show you. So here's the back of my painting. I kind of wanted to put a red dot in the middle, you know, thinking of Japan at the time while I was painting this. I was just like, you know what? Japan! Red dot symbolizes Japan. Earthquake, crisis, tsunami, people dying, having problems, floods, water, crazy shit. I feel bad for them. I thought I'd put it on the back and I'll remember this time for the rest of my life, you know? Crazy, crustacic, crustacic feast. Wow, I can't even say that word. You know what I mean, happening in this world at this given time, so you know? Kind of depicts, you know, the date and time. Can't really put a time down, but I'll remember for the rest of my life what happened in Japan. So yeah, this is the back. I kind of... You're not really allowed to do what I did on the back, but I did it anyway. Because I know I can get away with this shit. Yeah. I got in trouble doing it too, but... Whatever. I got away with it in the end, I win. There it is. Very odd. Right? Crazy, huh? Crazy, crazy. See? So, yeah. Wee. What do you think? Please tell me what you guys think about it. It's not like super detailed or anything, it's more like thick line, the pixelized in the face, pixelized on the cheeks, you know, the red cheeks kind of symbolize my shyness. Because I'm actually shy. Very, very shy. Always worried about things, you know. I don't know, symbolic representation of. And the white lines of my hair kind of, I don't know, kind of show which direction it's going with the little lines and stuff. It's kind of like randomness. I don't know, tell me what you think. It's pretty cool, right? Painted the frame as well white, kind of make it pop. My arms are getting tired. Get a good look, quick, quick, before, before it, it, it disappears. So I'm gonna put this on my wall, right here. Yeah. So that's my very odd painting that you guys, you know, totally just saw. Tell me what you think in the comment below. And I'll reply and say thank you or something like that. That would be amazing. I love feedback on things I create. I'm always usually very, very, very scared of what people think of what I make and draw. Very insecure, inferiority complex wall always in front of me, but I thought, hey, why not share it? Alright, it doesn't hurt. Now in my videos, I should probably have that in the background all the time. And if you're wondering, that coat, it's not this one, it's this one, I'll show you. Hey. So if you're wondering, yes, this is the coat that I painted in the picture. I don't know if you can relate. 